Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss a priori algorithm to generate strong association rules for the given data set. This is the solved example number one. The link for other example is given in the description below. This is the data set given to us, which has uh, five instances. Actually, it has uh, five image IDs and uh, there are associated tags in this case. Now we need to apply a priori algorithm to discover the strong association rules given the minimum support of 40% and minimum confidence of 70% in this case. To generate the strong association rules, first we need to generate the item sets and then we need to find the qualified frequent item sets based on the minimum support. Once you get the largest frequent item set, then we can uh, start building the association rules here. So first uh, I will try to explain how can you get the frequent item sets step by step. In the first step we need to generate uh, or we need to get the support count for individual item sets that is one item set. So in this case uh, beach, holiday, ocean and so on are the one item sets. The number of times beach appears we need to count and then we need to write in the second column. So if you see here, beach appears 1, 2, 3 and 4 times. So that is what I have written here. Similarly, holiday. Holiday appears once here and then the holiday appears one more here. So I have written 2 in this case. Similarly, I have to write the frequency of uh, one item set in this case. Once I write this particular uh, uh, support count of one item set, now we need to select the qualified uh, item sets in this case as a one frequent item sets for that reason we need to check what is the minimum support given to us the minimum support given to us is 40 percent so the minimum support count expected is equal to minimum support multiplied by item set count so minimum support is 40 percent multiplied by 5 that is equal to 200 percent which is equal to 2 in this case so the minimum support is 2 so if you have the minimum support count of 2, the meaning is that item set is a frequent item set. So in this case, I have written uh, beach, holiday, ocean and sunshine as a one frequent item set because the minimum support count is 2 or more in this case. So this is how actually you can calculate one frequent item set. The same process we apply to calculate the two frequent item sets. For that, first we need to find the two item sets. To generate two item sets, we need to know the distinct uh, one frequent item sets. The distinct one frequent item sets are beach, holiday, ocean and sunshine here. So that is what I have written here. Now I have to take two at a time that is beach, holiday, beach, ocean, beach, sunshine, holiday, ocean, holiday, sunshine, ocean, sunshine. So these are the different combinations are there. I have written all those particular combinations. Now we need to count the support count for these uh, items. Beach and holiday. Beach and holiday appears once here. And if you count, see uh, anywhere, we don't have any uh, beach and holiday in this particular associated tags. So it appears only once. Beach and ocean. Beach and ocean appears once here. And beach and ocean appears one more time here. So it is appearing two times. Beach and sunshine. Beach, sunshine. Uh, beach sunshine and then uh, beach sunshine totally three so it is appearing three times here so similarly we need to count how many number of times the two item sets appears and write it in the second column again the same process the minimum support count expected is two so the two item sets having two or more support count are the two frequent item sets so in this case uh, beach ocean beach uh, sunshine holiday sunshine and ocean sunshine are the uh, two frequent item sets over here. Now what we need to do is uh, we have to find the uh, distinct uh, items in this particular uh, two frequent item sets. The first one is breach, ocean, sunshine and holiday. These are the four things are there. By considering these four we need to write uh, the three item sets and then we need to count uh, uh, three frequent item sets. So these are the four uh, unique uh, or you can say distinct uh, items are present in uh, two item sets or a frequent two item sets. So how to write uh, three item set is beach, ocean, sunshine, beach, ocean, holiday, ocean, 
holiday sunshine now by considering these four item sets we can easily write uh, the three item sets the first one is uh, beach ocean holiday second one is uh, beach ocean sunshine the third one is uh, beach holiday sunshine and the last one is ocean holiday sunshine so that is what i have written in this case now i have to count uh, the support count for each of these things beach ocean holiday does not appear anywhere so it is zero beach ocean sunshine appears two times beach holiday sunshine appears one time ocean holiday sunshine appears zero time so that is what i have counted and written over here now if you see this particular uh, four possibilities out of that this is the second one is only qualified uh, frequent item set because uh, it is having minimum uh, support count of uh, two in this case so that is what i have written here now uh, it is not possible for us to write uh, four uh, item sets as well as uh, four frequent item sets so we will stop here now the uh, next part is to find the strong association rules so if you want to find the strong association rules we have to use this particular uh, formula the expected uh, minimum confidence is what 70 percent so how to get the strong association rule is if you want to say that x tends to y is a strong association rule it should have the minimum confidence of 70 percent now the question is how to calculate the minimum confidence the minimum confidence of x tends to y rule is the frequency that x and y both appears divided by the number of times only x appears so that is what we need to calculate if it is 70 percent or more it is a strong rule in this case first and foremost thing we will write uh, the frequent item sets here the frequent item sets are beach ocean beach sunshine holiday sunshine and ocean sunshine so that is what i have written here and one more is beach ocean sunshine that is the last one we need to consider these frequent item sets and then we need to check uh, uh, how how many of these or we need to write the association rules so that it will satisfy the minimum confidence in this case so i will consider the first one that is beach ocean so if i consider beach ocean there are two possibilities are there either i can write beach ocean or ocean beach if i write beach ocean the number of times both appears beach ocean appears two times here divided by the number of times beach appears number of time beach appears is four that is nothing but two by four which is equivalent to 50 percent here this is not a strong rule because it is not uh, greater than or equivalent to 70 percent here now i'll consider the other side that is ocean beach ocean beach both appears two times because the uh, ocean and beach appears two times divided by how many number of times ocean appears the ocean appears two times so two by two which is equivalent to 100 percent it is a strong rule in this case similarly i will consider the second one that is beach sunshine beach sunshine beach sunshine is the one rule and sunshine beach is the another rule so beach sunshine both appears three times divided by beach appears four times so it is equivalent to three by four which is equivalent to 75 percent because it is greater than 70 percent it is a strong rule in this case similarly sun beach and sunshine beach sunshine beach appears three times beach appears four times so the meaning is it is 75 percent again it is a strong rule here now i will go with the next one that is nothing but uh, uh, holiday sunshine that's the next one so holiday sunshine appears uh, uh, two times i think holiday sunshine divided by holiday appears two times so it is two by two hundred percent a strong rule sunshine holiday appears uh, two times but sunshine appears four times here so two by four which is equivalent to 50 percent that is not a strong rule here next one is ocean uh, sunshine ocean sunshine appears uh, two times divided by ocean that is two times so it is a strong rule sunshine ocean appears two times but sunshine appears four times here so we can say that uh, two by four is equivalent to 50 percent it is not a strong rule in this case this is also not strong rule this is also not a strong rule in this case coming back to the last one that is beach ocean sunshine uh, we have multiple possibilities here so i have to take these two first that is beach ocean and then sunshine or you can write in any op op order it's not a big issue beach ocean sunshine that's the one possibility how many number of times all three appears all three appears two times divided by beach that is four so two by four is equal to 50 percent it's not a strong rule 
next one is uh, ocean sunshine beach the other side of this one two times all three appears divided by ocean sunshine ocean sunshine appear two times so it's a strong rule here similarly i have to consider uh, ocean this side so ocean beach sunshine are the other side so all three appears two times that's for sure ocean appears uh, two times here so 2 by 2 is equal to 100 percent it's a strong rule now beach sunshine to ocean here so all three appears two times that's true beach and uh, sunshine appears three times here so 2 by 3 is equal to 67 percent that is not a strong rule in this case now coming back to the last one sunshine i have to take this side so sunshine beach ocean beach all three appears two times sunshine appears four times so it's not a strong rule the last one is beach ocean uh, to sunshine all three appears two times beach ocean appears two times so two by two is equal to 100 percent that is a strong rule in this case i hope you understood how can we generate frequent item sets as well as the strong association rules using a priori algorithm if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos, press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.